Welcome back dreamers to my Dreamlight Valley Decor channel. Thank you for any subscribes and thumbs up. I appreciate it more than you guys know so much. <laughs> so let's take a tour of my Glade. I wanted to hurry up and record this as quick as possible. You guys know that I have kids so it's hard to record. So it's been a while since you heard my voice so I will be talking during this walkthrough. I wish I could have done the speed build of the Glade, but there was so much that I did that it would have taken me probably weeks um, to record it all, post it all, and oh my goodness, it would have been so much work. And I was trying to hurry up and get this done, so I was like, I'll just record the walkthrough. I recorded some of the speed build, but I didn't, like, it was not a lot and that was like a couple hours of work so imagine how much if i would have recorded everything it would have been hours oh my goodness so i hope you guys enjoy this walkthrough i definitely wanted to put the houses here because it makes it look so much more like the a new orleans city to me and i chose that the pathway as well because I feel like this path looks the closest to the sidewalk that we have um, and so I think that this works perfectly for what I was going for now I wasn't sure to make mother Gothel's house into like a forest vibe at first but then I didn't want to block the houses that you can see like the city like vibe so then I just opted to do this little area, like a little market and seating, like hangout area. Um, and then I also wanted to create like a nice little garden in the back of the hotel that it, that's there. Make it look like a cute little resort area, I guess. Um, but still New Orleans vibe as much as possible. <laughs> so I needed somewhere to put uh, Tiana's, um, I forgot what that thing is called. I can't think off the top of my head but this thing um, I needed somewhere to put it and so I decided to put that there make it a little cute with the little path leading up to it um, and then the gazebo is gorgeous and yes you can still access the well from there I didn't know where to put the well so we just put it there um, in the back there kind of hidden but you can still use it and you can when i come in i can still access the path and then i create a little water bridge and you can still access the rocks for those that want to know because they want some people wanted to know if i still can access like the rocks and um if things still grow and all that and yes all that's like i still get the i still can forage and all those things and then this is a little seating area in the garden. It looks so pretty. I mean, the fireflies just make everything look so beautiful in the glade. Like, I'm obsessed. I'll probably put fireflies everywhere, you know, in all biomes eventually. But um, And then I put the boat here. I think it looks so good next to the little bridge. I think it looks good together. And so, yeah, so I definitely probably put those fireflies everywhere. And then as we walk in, we're gonna walk into the city area. I put two trains in the city area. I love the trains so much and I love them most at night because they're light, they light up. I wish actually that we could turn the light on. Like, so even during the day that the light of it, the train is on, that would be pretty cool. Um, because it looks so good in like a city vibe with the train. I mean, even if I, this train probably looks good anywhere, let's be real, because it's so nice. <laughs> so this is Daisy's shop. You guys see I have Remy's. Because um, some people wanted to know too, like which houses I have here. I have Scrooge's shop. Like, yes, you can access all these places. Um, I have the Monsters Inc. apartment. The Monsters Inc um Sully Mike and Sully's house I have Remy's house you know I try to make it look as much like a road there as possible and then the road and the sidewalk looking um paths look so good together like it makes it I feel like it really brings it to life because it looks like a sidewalk and the asphalt looks like a road um so it really brings it together imagine this a sidewalk looking um, path with like a custom rug um, a 
custom rug road path that would look probably phenomenal i just try not to use touch magic as much as possible because of dream snaps and um and it is it's very difficult for me to work i don't like the working the touch magic tool so this is my little train station area and you know i couldn't fit too much in so like i wasn't 100 percent happy with it but it's simple and it's good enough because and then tiana's area this is what i did for her area uh, uh, for her pat tiana's palace her food area and i just want to show you that i can yes i can still access um her stall back there uh that's sitting back there and so again like i wasn't 100 percent happy with the area and putting these things here because i couldn't decorate too much because i don't have a limited space but i was i mean it fits so good with the vibe um and then i have like the steamboats back there and i can still fish um you know so i just want to show people those things so that they can they know that if they can decorate and still have a functional village as well so that is the whole glade guys i really hope you enjoyed it um this is the full build sorry i couldn't record the speed build but i hope you guys enjoyed please thumbs up subscribe share i love you guys let me know what you like the most about the build and i'll see you in the next video love you guys